Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have just filmed a get ready with me. Um, obviously this is not, this is the end result. Um, but I thought that it would be fun just to film like get ready with me that is in the lockdown new <laughs> years. So I'm just gonna be spending it sat at home. But I hope you enjoy the video and I'll just get on with it. So I'm now very bare faced. Um, I'm gonna start with some skincare, I think. I've literally just washed my face. So I recently changed my skincare actually. I was using um, pretty much all the ordinary. And then I, when it came time to like buy a new bottle of everything basically because so i was using hyaluronic acid niacinamide the moisturizer and the cleanser and when it got to time that i needed to start using the new like to buy a new um moisturizer I ended up just looking online for like something different this is the hydration serum from drunk elephant um and i've tried drunk elephant before like i tried bits from them um and it was like fine. It's like one of the only companies that doesn't really make my skin break out. This is the retinol cream from Drunk Elephant as well. It's like bright yellow. It's very off putting. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd go back and give them another go. And you can put that retinol cream on like day and night. And then I'm using the polypeptide cream. And this I quite like. I really like their like moisturising pots. My hands are so orange. I tanned last night. Um, I tried a new tan as well. I normally use Bondi Sands, but they were out of stock of the one that I normally use, which is the Ultra Dark. So this one's like, I'll put it on screen. Um, it's a new one, I actually really liked it. It developed really, really quickly as well. I'm gonna use some of the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't use this a lot because I just don't, I don't use primer a lot. Normally I just moisturize and that's kind of enough. But maybe it should grow out a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, new tan, new skincare. Coming into 2020, 2021, whole new person. Um, yeah, so I noticed my skin was getting, this is all scarring down here, but I noticed my skin was getting pretty bad. Um, I think it was from all the masks, like wearing the masks and stuff. So I um, thought it was time to probably start changing my skincare. Because I haven't, I wasn't really getting like, the rest of my skin's pretty clear, minus like that, my chin area. So I assumed it was the masks. And I'm gonna use the foundation that was in my favourites, the Dream Urban Cover by Maybelline. I'm still using it, I'm still really liking it. And hopefully my face will match my neck a bit better now. <laughs> so yeah, I was kind of reminiscing the other day about this year and how like odd it's been. Cause I think I was talking to someone about things that had happened in like February. And I was just like, February doesn't even feel like it's been this year, which was really crazy to me that February was this year. Um, Cause I kind of just feel like the year started and ended in like March. So yeah. Cause even Christmas, I kind of thought that Christmas was like, it felt like it wasn't Christmas. It felt like we were still stuck in March. Cause obviously when it started getting cold again, it did feel like March, so it has just been really, really strange. When I was thinking about um, like New Year's traditions as well, like think whether I wanted to set any, any like, res not traditions, resolutions, whether I wanted to set any resolutions this year. And I just don't, I don't know. I don't think I want to. Like my resolution last year was to start doing YouTube videos and then I started them and then took like a, eight month hiatus um which i don't really i don't regret taking it because i feel like I, at the time i just didn't really know what i wanted to film and like 
I don't know, I just didn't, I don't know. There was just something, I just didn't know what I wanted to film. I didn't know how, I mean, that's, yeah, I just didn't know what to film, essentially. Uh, this is the collection Last Imperfection Concealer. Yeah, I just didn't really know what to film. I didn't really know where I wanted the channel to go, whether I just wanted to keep it with like beauty or like change it, but then, I don't know, it just wasn't really something that I was thinking about doing. And then um, I got loads of comments on my air wrap video for the tutorial, the beach wave tutorial. And I just thought, you know what, like, let me just give it a go, <laughs> see how it goes. Cause the thing is when I do the videos, like I really enjoy making them. It's just like having, ideas to film which i struggle with i'm gonna use some of the illamasqua loose powder i have a real love or hate relationship with this powder mainly hate um it sets things pretty well but it makes anything that you put on top of it really patchy like my bronzer so i always have to like do it where I'm basically not going to be putting bronzer and then I can go in after with it I'll show you anyway but I'm only using it now till it's done like I feel like it's a waste of money otherwise it does set stuff well it just doesn't it just doesn't like my skin I don't think I'm now going to go into the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula this is in the shade Sunkissed I'm pretty sure it is um, this is my second one of these. This is like my favourite bronzer. I've gone to so many different bronzers. Like I used to use Hoola and then I started using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. This is just the, the best one. It doesn't go as patchy over that powder. So I tend to try and use this one. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't think I want to make resolutions this year. I think as long as I'm happy and healthy and I kind of enjoy what I'm doing and like making sure that I'm doing things for me I'm not gonna like say to myself oh you need to go on a diet or work out more because I just feel like there's always situations where like sometimes you need to make sure just that you're good in yourself rather than trying to make like resolutions to change yourself like I want to be more accepting of myself and follow the things more that I want to do rather than doing things that I I, d I don't enjoy because I feel like I have to. Oh. I also think I'm just mental for even putting makeup on today because we're, we're literally not doing anything. I reckon I'll be asleep before 12 o'clock. Mm, I'm gonna go in with blusher. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blush. It's like the only blush that I use and I don't use blush a whole lot. The other blush that I use all the time is the Glossier Cloud one because I put that horrible powder on top. I'm not going to put cream on top of this. And this one's nice. It's quite um like bronzy. So I think it looks nice. Um, it's just been such a weird year. I think everyone's really happy to see it go. But there's definitely been like some like silver linings of this year. Like I wouldn't have just wrote this year off and said like, it's, you know, not, it's been a year that I haven't done anything. Like I've had no personal growth and stuff like that. Like I feel like I've had a lot of personal growth. I feel like I know who I am. Oh, this is um, the cookie highlighter from Benefit. Um, yeah, I feel like I know who I am a lot better and like, I know what I want more out of my life. Like I still think I've got a lot to learn and a lot and a lot to grow from as well. But I definitely feel like this year has really taught me a lot about myself rather than like, I feel like every year I think of things that I've learned and I, it's always about other people and like maybe ne like not necessarily like other people but like situations that I've gone through whereas this year I've definitely been like I need to make sure that I'm listening to my intuition a lot more and listening to myself a lot more and I think that's a really good thing to have come out of this year I'm gonna use it's just toner it's just cheap toner I just use it to like stop my powder looking so powdery um because that is a problem that I have with that powder 
so yeah I just think like this year has just definitely been a year of like a lot of personal growth for me it's definitely shown me how resilient I can be in situations how strong I can be um and it's also just taught me like not to take anything for granted I think it's taught everyone that like don't take anything for granted because you don't know how like I was thinking about this the other week like you don't know how quick things change like I remember the week before we went into that second lockdown in October well it was in October but the lockdown was in November in October the week before I had we always had no idea that there was going to be another lockdown there was like rumors and things like that and then like we were told a few days before that we were going into lockdown and it's just yeah I felt like I had to get my whole life in order it was just crazy so now I'm learning definitely to take the day as it comes a bit more. This is the lip liner in Hot Gossip. Uh, yeah. And be more appreciative of the little things like, silly things like going to the shop or going to, going to go get a drink or just going into your friend's house. Like, it seems so like foreign now to think that that was ever a thing. And I guess like Christmas next year is gonna be just so, it's gonna be so good, it's gonna be huge. And hopefully New Year's as well. This is normally my favorite time of year, but I just didn't, I haven't felt festive this year. Like, I don't think a lot of people have, but I just haven't felt festive. So although I'm very happy to see the back of this year, I can also take a lot from it and know that you know, I've been able to do, to improve myself, work on myself this year, which has been good. Uh, this is the KKW or the Kim, Kim, what is it called? Kim KW, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, not KKW, that's why I was getting confused. Um, yeah, it's been a, I'm trying to think of other things that have happened this year that's been really good. I was lucky that my birthday was in September um, so I'm still able to go to a restaurant, meet up with six people inside. We were still allowed to do that then. Uh, we went to a spa in September, which was really nice. Um, what else did we do? All the months just feel like an absolute, like blur like I can't think of what I did I said this to my mum the other day I, I can't think what I did in in like I remember what I did in March April May June no idea July August September rough idea and then obviously October November December I remember because it was I guess quite recent this is the precise my brow pencil but I'm gonna just fill my brows in like just underneath because I'm gonna go in with like a coloured brow gel so you don't, I don't really need to like fill them in anywhere else, but I just like to like get some definition underneath them because that's where they're a bit, not sparse, but they're just not very straight. So it just, yeah, it just helps with a little bit of definition. So yeah, my birthday was good. And then I think a lot of my friends have had their birthday, some people, birthdays were still in lockdown and obviously everyone kind of now's birthdays are obviously going to be in lockdown which sucks but I guess like I've just got to feel like very like blessed that I haven't been ill because there were some people that have just been so ill from the coronavirus obviously and so I guess that's just I'm just lucky this is the glass I keep forgetting what to say what I'm using I'm using the Glossier boy brow in brunette brown brown um yeah so i'm just when i have these days of like feeling like kind of annoyed at the world i just think of like how lucky i am that none of my family and my friends have been really badly affected by it i know a few people that have had it but um everyone's recovered and are fine so you hear about these people that like have lost their like sense of smell and their taste and they're gonna they don't know if they're ever going to get it back like that that's what terrifies me just things like that like not so much getting it but the the after effects of it that's what worries me i'm going to use my charlotte tilbury eyeliner 
this is in i think this is in pillow talk it's like a burgundy ready brown it's um it's a really nice pencil it's nice if you don't want to use because i'm not big on black eyeliner on me i think it makes my eyes look a bit small so i tend to try and use brown but this is like a bit it's nice because it's a bit different from brown um i've been using this all the time recently i do think that charlotte Tilbury just has the best like pencils eyeliners lip liners oh thanks that's your meant to smile when you see me you, you were gonna do that to you that didn't you oh which one have i got yeah, ryan no, it's Ryan. Oh, right, it's fine. I don't take, I... don't take Ryan off me. All right, my only man. It's a very dry prosecco. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of like very like dry wines. I'm definitely more of like a sweet person because even like dry white wines make me feel a bit ill. But that's, I'll drink it. Obviously, it's New Year's, but. Yes, so I'm gonna use uh, the eyeliner, and I just do. I do this before my eyeshadow. I watched um, Charlotte Tilbury's video of Tarty recently, and she used it before eyeshadow, and I was like, "Why would you do that?" And it actually looks quite good. And then you can go, in, you can go in and like deepen the line again after if you want to. But but they're like just so like creamy. Um, I bought a dress as well to sit in and do nothing. So that's fun. Um, I got it from my Polly the other day. I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm obsessed with it. Um, so I bought it, but I don't know where I'm going to wear it to. So I'm going to wear it tonight in my living room. And then I guess it can come back out when Corona goes away, whenever that might be. So that looks a bit like severe, but <laughs> I'll look better later. So I'm meant to be going back to work in January. I went back to work in November for two days. I literally was in there for two days and then they put us back on furlough, which was fair enough. Um, that was through that big lockdown. And then, and now I've got a start date again in January. I think it's January the 18th. And um, I'm looking forward to it actually. I'm looking forward to have like, feel like I have a purpose again. Cause I haven't worked for a year. Like I've been doing some extensions. Um, which has been nice, like I'm happy I had that to do. And I'll still continue doing that when I go back to work. Oh my God, that uneven though. Like... Are my eyes just uneven? That's fine, we'll put eyeshadow on, it'll probably work itself out. Yeah, so I'll still be doing the extensions through work whenever I have time I just have to fit people's appointments around around that but um <clears throat> I am looking forward to going back I'm gonna use the Amrezy palette I haven't used this in so long but I thought it would be nice to use it today because there's so many like glittery shades I just thought that would be nice where do I start I haven't worn makeup since Christmas day that was what like a week ago I feel like I've already forgotten how to put makeup on I'm going to go into the, the new nude just for the base colours. I'm going to go in with Tickle, which is this one, first, just to put a pink base down. Otherwise, it's, I don't really want bronze when I've just done like a ready, uh, ready eyeliner. Um, yeah, so I'm going back in January. I just think it's going to be so strange to be like back at work and have to get up early because at the minute I'm going to bed at like oh, about half one waking up about nine sometimes ten and when i go back i'm gonna have to be getting up at like six. Oh my god i don't know how i'm gonna do it i'm looking forward to going back like i'm hoping that things will just start to feel a bit more normal when i'm doing sync again because i feel like everyone that i know is, has got something to do like they're either working from home or they're um, going in or they've got uni or whatever and I just don't really have anything which is fine like you know I'm still getting paid so I'm not going to complain about it but at the same time it does get a bit boring right I'm going to go in with spanked which is this shade but I'm going to mix it with this sensor shade which is like a dark dark purple um yeah, so 
interesting for sure. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes, I guess. I still have no idea what kind of videos I'm going to film in the new year. Like, I think I do definitely want to keep going down into like the beauty route because I feel like it's what I enjoy to like enjoy watching. I enjoy watching a lot of like lifestyle stuff as well. But obviously, at the minute, I'm not really doing anything, so it's not like I could film anything to to kind of show you what I'm doing. Um. But I could definitely try, I can definitely try and find some stuff to do. The stuff that I watch, I watch the most insane things. The other day I spent like the full day watching reviews of like first class airplanes, which I can't do that. And also I just don't feel like, I don't know who would want to see that. Like I, well, I watch them because I've seen this fun to watch them, but like, I don't know if, I just think I'm a bit crazy actually. I don't know why I watch those kind of things. What well, I spent another day. This is I just get myself into kind of these like ruts of like videos. Um, then yesterday I just watched like pretty much all day because obviously it it kind of tells you like when you watch things it recommends things that I guess I like it. So I ended up watching Anthony Joshua interviews for a good like three or four hours because they just kept recommending them to me and I was like oh, okay we'll just watch watch it. I just think that was a bit too much of my day but it's fine. I'm gonna mix some of that some sort of shade with a little bit of the black just to make it a little bit darker. I've been watching a lot of TikTok. I mean I've been watching TikTok now for a few years. Like I was I started watching it last I say a few years, not even been two years, but I was I watching it like last January, February, March, April, May. Like, yeah, like May, last May. Um, and now it's great because all my friends are on it so I can send them videos. But when I first started watching it, no one was on it and everyone was like, why have you got TikTok? I loved it. All the little dances and the other stuff. My um, my For You page is a bit of a mess at the minute. I don't know what I've been liking. You like like one odd video and then it just continues to recommend you odd videos. I'm gonna use a little bit of eyelash glue to stick on one of these glitters. It's been a, a very odd few weeks anyway, like festively. Luckily we went and did all that, well I say luckily, I mean it wouldn't make a difference. We went and did all of our, um, all of our Christmas shopping um, in November, but we weren't able to give anyone presents so yeah, it doesn't actually make a difference thinking about it now. Say so luckily, but because it doesn't make a difference. I'm gonna use the Barb glitter, which is the light pink glitter. My, I did have glitter glue. I've had a pot of it, but it's stuck together. I still have it in my drawer, but it's literally all stuck together. Like the lid, I can't open the lid because it's stuck because of the glue. I'm actually not gonna go over the pencil eyeliner because I don't think the pencil eyeliner will go over that glitter. I'm actually just gonna go over with a black liquid liner just over that. Um, here so that I can, uh, there we go, just so that it, it still defines my eyes, there we go, that will work, that will work. Um, so yeah, I've got loads of parcels to return as well, I bought loads of stuff over, um, over Christmas, like, I, I wouldn't even say in the box that they sell, like I got, um, some gift cards for Christmas, so I was using... I was buying stuff with the gift cards. I bought some new Gymshark. They came up with like the um, Amplify. Mm. Is it called Amplify? I think it's called Amplify. I spent something Amplify. And um, I was so excited to like get it. So I ended up buying the little like grey and coral shorts and top. And I got it. And I think on Boxing Day I must have just been feeling like I was about to put on weight, like a lot of weight. So I um, I ordered mediums rather than smalls and they came and everything was too big, obviously. So I ended up, and I didn't really like it. I didn't really like, I was really excited for it, but I just didn't really like them. Cause I ordered the shorts and I ordered the leggings thinking if I don't like the shorts then at least I've got the leggings. And I didn't like the leggings either. The leggings were really short on me. So I don't know. So I pre-ordered, 
some stuff in a small micro exercise. Um, so yeah, I don't know what was going on there, but I didn't reorder any of the Amplify stuff because I just didn't like it. I thought when I got it, I, thought, I felt like a bit like a robot because it was just very like, it just looked very techy, I thought. And I thought as well, like in six months times, am I gonna really wanna wear it to the gym? Probably not. So that one went back. I'm gonna go back into this Simba shade. Um, but if that is something that you actually might wanna watch, like a, a Gymshark haul, uh, I can definitely do that. Because there is a lot of things on Gymshark that I like, and there's a lot of things that I don't like. Um, and sometimes their customer service is really rude. That's what I will say. Uh, I'm gonna use the Full Fat Lashes by Chuck Tilbury. If this eyeliner is dry, which I think it is. Um, so I'm gonna put some lashes on. And then I'm basically done. I did my hair before filming this video because I wanted, I didn't wanna like, I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of boring if I was just doing my hair. So I'm very, I get very focused with doing my hair. I'm gonna use the Idea Fluttery Light Lashes. But yeah, so I actually, I have a bit of a story here. Um, I was buying Tati Lashes, Tati Lashes, don't know how to say it, for ages. And then I think in my Black Friday like video, I actually said, I can never get them to stick down in the inner corner. And I was thinking it was like me doing something wrong. And then I just come to the, the conclusion that the lashes just didn't work for me. So I went back to Ilua and I actually liked them a lot more. Um, I found with the Tati lashes, I don't know if I was just doing something wrong or whatever, but I found that they would, all, as I was like peeling the glue off them, they would always just like shed lashes because they would be peeling the glue off and they would, like, the lashes would go with the glue, um, which I've never experienced with Ilua. So I'm not sure what was going on. So yeah, I've gone back to Ilua. I'm just not very good at putting eyelashes on, so like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I need to think that's just very foolproof. And Ilua always come and they're very like, um, rounded so that they just, you just have to do that on your eye and they're like there. Whereas the other ones, I just think are a bit too high maintenance for me. And they might look better, well, no, not, they might, they definitely look better, but they're just, I just want a lash that I just put on and that's it. Yeah, I don't like the hassle. So hopefully I'll insert some pictures of my dress that I'm gonna wear to my living room and um, at the end of this video so you can see my dress. But I'm always funny about O-Poly sizes. I feel like sometimes I really need to size up and sometimes I need to size down and I just feel like I'm very in between sizes. I mean, I'm like that with a lot of companies, I think, but O-Poly is definitely one that I'm like, definitely, definitely like that with. <sighs> Um, so I get worried sometimes about ordering whatever size. If you've got any ideas, like video ideas, please let me know. If you've got any questions or anything like that, please let me know. And I'll probably see, well, this will be my first video of 2021, but I'll probably see, hopefully I'll see you next week. Um, if you want anything like a hair tutorial of the hair I did today, I just didn't use the air up, I used my cutting tongs, so I could definitely film something like that as well if you want to see it. Any other video ideas, just let me know. Any questions, let me know. And please like, subscribe, comment, share the video if you could. That would be great. Are you tired? Um, and I hope that your new year was really nice. I know obviously after this video is posted it won't be it was, like new year would have been a few days ago but i hope your new year was really nice i hope your christmas was really nice and i'll see you next week for another video bye <coughs> should i down it would you down it there's not much left look it doesn't all right i down it i did it <laughs>